<laughs> it was a crucial catch for Josh Mullen on his 40th birthday. It's a scary diagnosis, but thankfully, early detection helped win the battle. Now this esophageal cancer survivor is your coin toss captain for Sunday's game at Arrowhead. And Josh is here along uh, with uh, his doctor, Ali Kanaji, from the University of Kansas Cancer Center. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to Better Kansas City. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, tell us, us, Josh, about uh, your diagnosis, how you found out about it, and uh, just tell us your story here. Well, it probably started to, I got diagnosed in 2017. Mm -hmm. um, really, the story started before that. It was uh, my wife and I, Jamie, um, had a friend that was diagnosed with esophageal cancer the year prior. Mm. And she actually ended up passing away from the disease. So mm -hmm. we didn't know a lot about the disease. Um, so the next year, the following year, uh, around my birthday, uh, I was having some other procedures done for a, a, a diff different reason. And uh, it called for me to get an endoscopy. So through that procedure, um, when that procedure was being done, they found like a small abnormality and it turned out to be a tumor. Wow. And ended up being esophageal cancer. But so. Uh, Doc, so with that early diagnosis, how does that help you as a physician go to treat them? Obviously it's better to find it earlier rather than later, right? Of course. Uh, I think the most, most important thing that we have to understand is that early detection and advocacy for your own health care is very important. Yeah. Um, and Josh was that, uh, the epitome of that. Mm -hmm. He had another medical condition that caused him or needed him to do other things and he followed through. Uh, by finding that diagnosis of esophageal cancer early, it gives him the best chance at survival. Um, in particular for Josh, um, his cancer was early stage enough but did have uh, a questionable lymph node that might have been positive. So what we did is we met as a group at the University of Kansas Cancer Center and sat down around a table with our medical oncologists, our radiation oncologists, and us as surgeons, and we determined the best treatment plan for Josh. Yeah. And for that, that included setting him up with chemotherapy and radiation up front, mm -hmm. followed by a surgical intervention. And thankfully, he's had a great outcome from that. Yeah, well, Josh, it sounds like you, there's a whole team of doctors, yeah, you know, uh, cultivating their knowledge to find the best uh, treatment plan for you. Why did you choose care there at the University of uh, Cancer Center? Oh, well, we weren't getting the answers that we were wanting in previous places. Yeah. And we, we knew, you know, the history behind KU Med and, and everything. And still, you're still a little worried when you come to places sure. like this. But it, it's been first class since the day we walked in the door and we've had nothing but you know a family atmosphere and just made me feel at home and feel actually safe with everything that was going on. Awesome and then how did you when did you find out about uh, now doc are you this is a question that I have are you ever cured from cancer or do you go into remission how does that work? Well it, it's difficult to say because yeah. we you know we like to use the words as cure remission those are the ones that are thrown out mm -hmm. but I think the most important thing is that even if you've had cancer and it's been treated you still have to have surveillance. Yeah. And the idea is you keep on going back to your physician, follow the recommendations, the guidelines. Everybody's cancer is different. Everybody's different. And the benefit that we have at the University of Kansas Cancer Center as an NCAI designated cancer center, it allows us to have the updated clinical trials, the updated methodology, the updated recommendations that would be needed to take care of people like Josh and any other patient with cancer. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's fantastic. And I just love the fact that you guys are, are working as a team uh, with, with each individual patient that comes in there, you know, working the diagnosis, working what best procedure and treatment to put them on the road for the best chance of recovery and then, you know, continuing their life living their best life, so to speak, you know? Right. And let's go back to the Chiefs game. Obviously, okay. you're going to be out in front of 80,000 screaming people ready to cheer on the Chiefs to victory this Sunday. <laughs> Are you nervous about the coin flip at all? Uh, not too much, not no. really. It's going to be more exciting. Any pressure anything. or anything about making sure we get the, win the coin flip? Just hope the coin goes up, comes back down. That's basically it. <laughs> gravity, we'll just let gravity do its job. I think <laughs> yeah, we should absolutely. be okay. Well, uh, Josh and Doc, we appreciate your time here today. Congratulations on your, on your successful treatment. I can't wait to see you on Sunday at, at the game. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Um, the Chiefs play, of course, here this Sunday. It's Chiefs and the Texans at noon right here on KCTV5.